Hey everyone. My name is Sophie Martin, and today I will be teaching you how to make your own rubber stamps from erasers. So what you're going to need, obviously, erasers. Uh, I picked out a few. I bought them at Kroger because I couldn't go to Walmart. I could only go to Kroger because it's closer to my house. Um, and then you're going to need markers, uh, an X-Acto knife. This is a box cutter, and of course, a smaller X-Acto knife would be preferable. But since I don't have one, or I did, I thought I did, but I don't know where it is. So this is all I have right now. Um, so I'm using this. Disclaimer, if you are little, please <laughs> use, please get parental supervision for having an exacto knife, for using a knife. Please. Okay. Let's start with this one. Uh, you want to use a pencil, not a pen. Because if you use a pen, then pens have ink, and the ink will smudge when you start cutting it. And that's really, like, you don't want that. So I'm going to use a pencil because it's a little easier. So what I'm first going to draw is uh, just a pretty basic flower. I think it's a tulip since it's spring. Because thin lines are hard to do. All right, so now I'm just going to... This part's a little tricky, and I haven't quite perfected it. But I think I'm going to go along the lines of, like, I'm just going to cut into the eraser. It's pretty easy. And then I'm going to like swivel it and carve it out. And then I like try to peel it a little bit. This part, it's a little tedious and yeah, this is, I think the best I can do or best I figured out how to do it. All right, now I cut out the basic of the base of it. Now I'm just going to go in and try and clean up some of those edges so I get a nice smooth design. I don't want it to look crusty at all. See, I made a little tulip. All right. So now I'm going to show you how you're going to stamp it. These are some of the stamps I made earlier. I made a little hat. These, this is actually three stamps, a hat, a little feather, and a smiley face. But anyway, so now you need to get out your markers. Um, and then for the tulip, since I'm not going to make it one color, obviously, it's a tulip. There's green parts and pretty parts. I'm going to color the tulip part pink. We'll see how that turns out. And then we're going to do the petals and stem, or the, the leaves and stem, green. I'm really excited for this one. All right. Then you want to press it down firmly. Don't move it once you uh, press it down. Oh wow. Oh I oh it's really good one. Oh I'm gonna keep that. I really like this. Oh yeah, that's good. Ooh, maybe okay. For my next one, I think I'm gonna do a frame so I can like put a frame around it. Okay. Okay, this is too fun. To make sure for my second eraser, I'm going to make a frame so I can stamp it around the tulip that I made on my paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink this again. And I don't have to do it two colors again, but I'm going to just for, because I like how pretty it is. Hmm. Okay, and then you want to put these together. Uh, 
This is a printmaking technique that I learned from a printmaking class. Where you stamp it like that. That way, you know how made to make the frame. You can just do things around it. I made the frame. Now I'm going to choose my color. I'm thinking gray. Gray will be nice. And I'm just going to ink up like the first one. Now this part's gonna be a little tricky, but I think I can do it. I just gotta line up, line it up, line it up. Sorry, my head's in the way. Oh, yeah, a little frame. That's cute. But remember, it has to be flipped. So, oh, these are also way easier to write on. So it has to be flipped. I know it doesn't look flipped. Well, when I'm recording this, it looks correct. But when I look at it, it's backwards. It'll probably flip it when it's done recording. I'm not going to worry about it. So I carved out the I carved out the word. Now we can go ahead and ink it. Oh, these erasers are much easier to put ink on too. Wow. Awesome. So that is correct. Looking at it, it's flipped the correct way. All right, so that's how you do letters. For my last stamp, I will be doing a bubble wand and bubbles. I found these just came in the eraser pack when I bought these, and I didn't think I would be able, I would use them because they're just, why would I? But I found out that this part is really good at being a perfect circle. And I have a few examples in my notes. These are some of the circles that they make. They're just perfect circles. Um, so I'm going to make a bubble wand out of this one. And then I'm going to put some circles so I can make a little like scene, you know? So bubble wands, they're circles, but they're like a little spiky. So this is going to be my bubble wand. Maybe I'll put a little base on the end of it. Okay. So I'm just going to, for my, for me, this isn't going to do anything different to the stamp at all. I'm just going to color it in so I know not to, so I don't accidentally go over a line. Like I don't actually accidentally cut anything off of it that I don't need to. Like this. 
I know I didn't do that with a tulip, but this has a lot more lines, so I'm just going to be a little more careful with this one. So that's my bubble wand. Uh, it's got little drips. It kind of looks like a flower, but whatever. If it's a flower, then it's a flower. Uh, okay. So I'm going to make the bubble wand pink. And then I'm going to make the drip parts blue. And then I'm going to make the bubbles blue. Okay, it needs a little bit more ink. It did not, it's not working for me. I need more ink. Okay, so that's my bubble wand. It looks pretty good, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to use the blue one just because I know I've been using blue on this before. All right. And then you can use a little tip of that to make. A little bubble shine. And you might be asking, why don't you just do that with a marker? Because it don't want to be a stamp. Duh. All right. Look how, look how nice. It's a, it's a little scene. So, um, thanks for watching. So I'm just going to recap. We did bubble wand and then I showed you how to do letters we did the tulip and then the frame around the tulip all right thanks for watching and uh love to see love to hear any questions or anything in the comments uh subscribe for more art videos uh thanks you all for watching have a nice day